Hey, happy Wednesday to everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Um, total desolation. Have you ever been in the midst and you just like looked around, maybe like a tornado or a hurricane, and you looked at the effects and it just totally desolated and you're going, wow, wow, wow. Well, this Wednesday, I want to talk to you a little bit about that. I hope you're enjoying this great weather that we're having in Havasu right now. However, for the last several days, we've been talking about our word of the day, and we've been looking at the plagues that God sent to Egypt. Plagues sent due to Pharaoh's hardened heart, which, by the way, God hardened his heart to be rebellious toward him by not releasing God's people. God's spokesman Moses had asked, here, here are the plagues. Water to blood, frogs, gnats, flies, death of the livestock, boils on their bodies, hell, and now locust. In Exodus 10, Moses comes to Pharaoh and gives him God's ultimatum. He threw down the gauntlet. Let my people go, or I will infest the land with locusts. Now, being in the desert, we understand a little bit about locusts, but here, Farmers' greatest fear at that time were locusts because they would devour every living piece of foliage in their path. They were ravenous, and farmers would pray that locusts would not attack their fields. Because Pharaoh's heart had been so hard and hardened, God sent the locusts, and they devoured everything the hail had left behind. The hell almost destroyed it. And what the hell didn't destroy, the locusts did. Total desolation stripped away from all that could be used to sustain life. God was not playing any longer. He was serious. How often have we had to be stripped of all of our resources so God can clearly speak to our hearts? Sometimes we may be depending on that bank account. Sometimes it may be um, our position, and God needs to strip that away from us. You see, God sometimes needs to take all of the fruit trees and the plants that sustain us away so that we are left desolated and deliver us from our rebellion. Now, he's willing to do that, and when Pharaoh saw the destruction, he called for Moses and confessed with his mouth, but not with his heart. He simply used the words from his mouth, but not with his heart. And God caused a wind to blow and drive all the locusts away just as quick as they had come, although it was all desolated. And you'd think that Pharaoh would have learned his lesson, wouldn't you? Kind of like sometimes we get reminded we haven't learned our lesson. But no, he only wanted relief from the pain of the locusts. And he did not surrender to God's people, nor did he allow them the freedom that God was asking. And so God choose, chose to remove all of the locusts as a demonstration of his power, not because Pharaoh had repented, but because God was showing and flexing and showing his muscle. Yet he also hardened Pharaoh's heart and he did not let his people go. Pharaoh did not let his people go. Don't allow your heart to be hardened to the point you refuse to do the good work God has prepared in advance for you to do. Don't be the one that has to have everything that will sustain you taken away so God can use you. That's a bad place to be. Desolation is harmful. The next time you see a locust, be reminded of God's power. Blessings. Hope to see you Sunday at our classic service, 8 a.m. on our McCulloch campus or any of our services on Sweetwater, 5 on Saturday, 9.30 and 11 on Sunday. And if you're in the Parker area, 11 o'clock at Alumni Hall. God bless you and will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks. Thanks that you haven't stripped away everything that you have given us. Father, thank you that we haven't been that rebellious and that we haven't hardened our heart. So, Father, I just pray that each time we see a locust, we're reminded of your power, your strength, your encouragement. Let us be obedient to your calling in our lives. Father, help us not to make excuses. Help us not to be my way only. Help us to be God's way. 
In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless you.